Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my mid-year book tag. I'm so excited to make this video because I'm going to get to kind of like review all the books that I've read over the last six months. So I'm so excited. There is like a general book tag, like there's general book tag questions that I feel like everyone's using. So I just copy and pasted those and I put them on my computer and I figured out which book went to each question and I pulled all of the books off of my shelves so that I can show you the physical books too. To start off though, um, I'm going to tell you how many books I've read so far and I have read 19, which I honestly thought it was a lot more, but I guess it wasn't. 19 is still good. I'm still proud of that though. Um, you should never feel bad about how many books you can or can't read. Everyone has different lives and jobs and never feel bad about that. So the first question is, also I love how you can literally see Happy Place right there because that's just going to be in the video. Anyway, the first question is best book you read so far in 2023. And this one was kind of difficult because I've given a couple five star reads um, I'm sorry, five star ratings, but I ended up going with Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. This book was literally just so good. I, I would reread it all over again if I could, which I can, but I'm going to give myself a little bit more time because I just read this last month, but everything about this book was just amazing. It was so cute. I was emotional a little bit at the end. Um, the characters were just amazing. I loved how it reminded me of like my childhood summers. Um, and I just loved Sam so much in this book. That's a foreshadow for another question coming up. But yeah, this was definitely my favorite book. I'm not gonna go into like full details about each of this each of these books or else this video will be like 30 minutes long. But you should read this book and it's Sam and Percy, I think. Yes, but um, it's like their childhood at the lake house and then goes to them being adults coming back to the lake house. And yeah, it was just the best book ever. I could not put this down. So the next question is best sequel you've read so far in 2023. This one stumped me a little bit because the only sequels that I've read so far in 2023 was like the summer I turned pretty series so I kind of like have to go with one of those but that's fine because I really enjoyed that series so um the first book is it's not summer without you no that's this one that's the second book the first one is the summer I turned pretty then it's it's not summer without you and the third one is we'll always have summer but I liked the second book the most which is it's not summer without you the third one was pretty good still but I really liked this one the most um this whole series is just super enjoyable and gives off the best summer vibes it is young adult so keep that in mind if you're gonna pick it up um I've heard of some people not enjoying it so much because they're in their like late 20s early 30s and in the first book the kids are between the ages of like 14 and like 17 or 18 so they are pretty young in the book um even up until the third book they're still only just like the first year of college or whatever but yeah this was my only and my favorite sequel book I've read the third question is a uh, new release you haven't read yet but want to and I picked uh, Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune because that is the same author of Every Summer After. So I obviously want to read that one. Um, although I have not heard the best reviews about that book. So I'm just going to have to read it for myself and see if I like it or not. And then I also have Fourth Wing, which I don't have the author written down for that. But if any of you watch like Haley Fam or... Sarah or Destiny, they, they've all read it and they freaking loved it. So I really, really want to read that. The next one was most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't have an answer for this question because I don't know, like I follow a lot of authors and stuff, but 
a lot of the books that have come out recently I've read. Um, like for example, Happy Place. That was the book that I just finished and that just came out in the last like month or two. But I don't know of any books that I'm gonna wanna read that come out in the second half of the year. So I'm gonna have to skip this question. The next question is the biggest surprise in a book. And I picked two books for this. I'm guessing by surprise, it means like you were surprised at something in the book, like it had the biggest plot twist. That's how I'm going to interpret it. So I picked two books and that was Survive the Night by Riley Sager and The Overnight Guest by Heather Gutenkoff. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. These both had the biggest plot twists at the end. Um, I read this one back in like January or February and I feel like I had an unpopular opinion about it but I rated this five stars. It was just so so good. The plot twist at the end of this was insane to where my mouth was open and the plot twist is kind of honestly what made it five stars and the same with this one. I did not enjoy the first half of this book. I mean I enjoyed it but it wasn't like my favorite book yet. Like I didn't think I was going to be giving it five stars. And then once the plot twist happened and they added on to that, I was like instantly five stars. It was so good. I realized after I finished it why they wrote it the way they did leading up to the plot twist, if that makes any sense. So I would definitely recommend both of these. This one's definitely a lot easier to read. Um, the words are bigger and it's just easier to flow through. This one goes between three different perspectives, which is why I didn't like it the first half, but I would still really recommend it because I did give it five stars. It's just keep in mind that it is a lot harder to read because the text is small and it goes back and forth between three perspectives. The next one is a favorite new author and I'm gonna have to say Carly Fortune again because I just loved Every Summer After so, so much. Like you guys don't understand how much I loved that book. So I definitely want to read more of her because I had never heard of her before. So definitely going to be reading more of her books. The next one is Newest Fictional Crush. I'm either going to have to say, I don't know, When from A Happy Place or Sam from Every Summer After. You guys are going to get tired of me talking about Every Summer After, but I just can't because it was so good and I loved Sam in it and oh my god it was just so good so yeah when or sam the next one is a book that made you cry and that's gonna be ugly love by colleen hoover this book goes back and forth between current time and past time um i feel like you can kind of guess a little bit what's gonna happen um like like what the plot twist is gonna be at the end not plot twist but like what's gonna happen that's like the big event um but I cried I really did not like full-on sobbing but it was more than just tearing up um yeah the end of this book was just really got to me um hence ugly love I feel like that just makes you think of crying but I would definitely recommend this book too I finished this in like two days a book that made you happy um I picked the summer of broken rules this book was just such a lighthearted, I was trying to think of a book that didn't make me like sad at all because a lot of books, I feel like towards the end, there's something that happens and then they get through it and it ends up getting better and something does kind of happen in this, but it's not the kind to where you're sad. I, I don't know how to explain that, but this book made me really, really happy. Um, it is pretty thick, but I still read it in like two to three days it was so so good I could not put it down it made it just reminded me of like my childhood and how I want to give my future kids a childhood like this and it was just it gave everything is all I'm gonna say so I would definitely recommend this too um before the summer is over okay the next one is the most beautiful book you've bought this year and again I feel like this one can be interpreted two ways but I'm gonna go with like the cover like uh, what's the most beautiful cover you got and that's gonna be Happy Place by Emily Henry. I am in love 
with this cover. It is the cutest thing ever. I love the pink. Pink's my favorite color. Not this pink necessarily. This one's like more hot pink, but like it's just so cute. They're in like the ocean or the lake um, and they have all the floaties and it's just the cutest thing ever. I love the white um, on the pink contrast and it's just so cute. I love all the little characters on it. Yeah, the cutest one ever. So that's the end of all the questions for like physical books. Um, the last one is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? And for this one, I really picked more like fall books because summer's gonna be over in a couple months and there's a lot, a lot. I have a full list of probably 15 books that I wanna read during the fall, but I just picked three. So the first one is The Silent Patient. I This book is so popular and I've heard that it has the craziest, like the absolute craziest plot twist at the end. And I was gonna read it this summer, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna wait until it's colder outside and I can like curl up on the couch with a blanket and read it, so that's what I'm gonna do. I also have a flicker in the dark. I saw that on TikTok and they said that I just needed to read it. So I'm gonna try to read that. And then I want to start the Akatar series. I, I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I haven't started it yet is because the books are so expensive. From what I've seen, all of the books are like $15, which that's gonna add up really fast. And like, I know that I don't have to buy them all at once, but I don't know. I just, I need to just buy it and I need to just start it. So yeah, that is the end of all of the questions. I'm gonna put all the questions down in the description below so that if you guys want to make a video or just if you wanna get your mind thinking and answer the questions yourselves just in your head, then you can do that too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.